Our journey started two days prior when we boarded a flight to St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. From there, we took a ferry to Tortola in the British Virgin Islands, passed through customs, and made our way a mile westward to the Conk Charters base, where late at night we boarded our Beneteau 343 Cabin Tour. The next day, we completed the checkout process, which involved going over the boat systems, the charter rules, a chart briefing, and taking a quick hike with the cart a few blocks up the road to the Rightway Grocery Store, where we stocked up on food and drink. Our plan for the 14 days we'd be spending at sea was to completely do a 360 degree tour of the BVIs, starting at Peter Island, then Norman Island, followed by Cooper Island, Virgin Gorda, Anagata, Marina Key, Yost Van Dyke, and then heading back to the Channel Islands of Norman and Peter on our final two days. By the time we got to our first anchorage, Great Harbor and Peter Island, the wind had all but died and the sun was setting fast. It was the night of the NFL, NFC, and AFC championship games, so we headed to shore to Ocean 7 to watch on their projector screen after hearing the game coming from shore. morning, we set a course for Norman Island. Crowded. We opted to moor at Kelly's Cove, a cozy five boat mooring field to the north. Word on the street was a Kelly's Cove and excellent snorkeling, and we couldn't wait to jump in and explore. you get a mooring ball at since it's a relatively close sail to the charter bases at Tortola. This means that Cooper Island is frequently a first or last stop for charters. 
We left early, around 8, to be sure there was room for us. Anchoring is strictly prohibited here due to the protected turtle grass beds coating the bottom of the bay. This is critical habitat for sea turtles and stingrays, and we are extremely excited for the chance to see both. Even though I could only find his tail end, I was really excited to find this moray eel hiding in the rock crevice. Little did I know, I was being watched. We came back to the boat for lunch. Looking into the water revealed a darker than usual boat shadow that moved more than it should. It turns out that a huge school of sardines thought our boat shadow was their perfect camouflage. research program dedicated to the turtles that frequent this bay, and you can often spot the metal research tags on the flippers of the turtles around Cooper Island, proof that they stay close to home. 